Now, this Senate race is one of the top targets for the Republican Party as Democrats hold the slimmest of majorities in the Senate. Now, Lamb is the first Republican to get into this race, but he certainly will not be the last. Former local news anchor Carrie Lake is rumored to be mulling over a run. Others said to be considering a bid for the Senate include familiar names like Blake Masters, Jim Lehman, and Karen Taylor Robeson. But it was Lamb's potential general election opponent who fired off the first shot. After Lamb released his first campaign video, Democratic Congressman Ruben Gallego issued a press release blasting comments the Pinell County Sheriff reportedly said after the January 6th riot. According to published reports, Lamb described the people at the Capitol that day as very loving Christian people. Lamb told me today that most of the people who went to the Capitol that day were peaceful and that anyone who broke the law should be punished. Where do you draw the line, though, about the peaceful protesters and the people who broke the law? Well, I wasn't there, so I don't know all the details. I haven't seen all the videos. Uh, the line is already in the books. If you broke the law, then you should be held accountable. At this point, Lamb says he does not intend to resign as sheriff to focus on this race. Lamb also described himself to me today as an election integrity guy. However, he would not say whether current governor Katie Hobbs legitimately won the 2022 election. In the newsroom, Dennis Wells, Arizona's family.